Hey, what up, decisive marketer? So you have an online business, it could be a SaaS business, an e-commerce store, uh, whether it's on WooCommerce or Shopify. What happens is that you've got your billing system, right? And also your check, uh, sorry, your payment uh, gateway. The data does not match because sometimes people are going to refund and sometimes those refunds does not reflect well on your uh e-commerce uh, store itself or probably you may have done some kind of manual refunds as well and those uh, information are not reflected well and that's what today's tool is here to solve for you right it's in a multi-channel e-commerce analytics tool where you connect multiple different data sources it could be from paypal it could be from stripe it could be from woocommerce from shopify you can even run multiple stores together and put them together into this single dashboard and it's called partner right but before i dive into partner be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in partner all right, this is the dashboard that we have here in Partler. You, uh, it tells you, you know, what's your uh, daily average sales, what's your sales on a monthly basis, right? It's all in here, right? And it gives you like on a daily basis, what is your revenue that is coming in, right? You can sort them, uh, you, can, you can change the view to a daily view, a monthly view, a yearly view. What are your top products, right? Everything, it's all, uh, you know, connected uh, within Partler and all the data is uh, in here, right? And all the uh, activities, all the transactions are happening here. If there are refunds, it tells you as well, right? And it gives you insights about your uh, business as well, right? So it says in the last two months, 36.24% of the total quantity sold were from products that have average price less than $24.01 right so it gives you this um, data so uh, it you know it, you might be able to use this data to try and bring in more products that um, are cost that cost probably less than $35 so you can encourage more uh, conversions right so and it also gives you some uh, you know comparisons here right but before we dive in right the first thing that you want to be doing is connect all your data sources together so uh, currently we have stripe uh, integrated paypal integrated uh, google analytics uh, etsy uh, and uh, Shopify as well and you can link new data sources so these are what uh, they currently have which is Google Analytics and some different other game payment gateways right here you can connect Gumroad, eBay, uh, BigCommerce, EDD as well uh, and then you can use their custom API right here to connect other uh, data sources in and they have uh, MailChimp and uh, email marketing services that you can connect in here which is coming very soon okay so uh, with Partler this is um, this this is your sales dashboard so it gives you a uh, better breakdown of uh, your data uh, sources right here and all your customers data are in here as well right and it also tells you what it, you know uh, it gives you like a heat map right so sales heat map uh, on when or which day is actually the better uh, time that you get more sales so you can see uh, that data right here so you may want to focus your resources on the uh, peak hours of your online store and you've got products right here All right so these these ones are telling you um, like what is the best selling products okay so this one um, has the highest revenue this is the second and, and so on and how many uh, units have you sold right and uh, it also gives you an idea uh, like how much is the uh, top 20 products uh, sorry the top 20% of the products that you sold 
and uh, how about the other 80 percent uh, you know it gives you that correlation and uh, you know tells you uh, maybe you should focus on the top 20 percent of your product so that's actually a very good um, idea on what to focus on and next is uh, the uh, customers right here and it also tells you uh, you know uh, gives you a better idea about like how many re returning customers do you get um, you know compared to the number of visitors that you have right uh, how many refunded customers and so on right so when you connect your Google Analytics data you'll be able to tell you'll be able to tell you how many uh, visitors how many uh, you know new customers and how many are returning right so this they will give you a better idea of what's going on uh, over here and also your uh, customers uh, you know where they are right now so the champions are the best uh the the biggest spenders and uh, loyal customers are returning customers uh you know then uh potential loyalists so this this ones are probably that they've come back and purchased twice uh already and they have a potential to stay on with you and your new customers uh you know and the promising ones and so on right um uh, that will give you a better idea of what's going on and you can also click in and look at the uh, individual customers uh, sales his uh, purchase history right here right what they have purchased and uh, you know their their information in here okay right so every individual customers uh, you know you you have a better idea of uh, what's going on and you have filters uh, in here as well so uh, you can you know focus on let's say returning customers and you get a list of them right so you can actually filter through your customer list uh, right here okay and you can look at the individual transactions right they also break down you know like uh, the location of these transactions the location of these customers right and what kind of products uh, you know and you can take a look at the individual tra transactions of these products and so on right and uh, any subscription products are in here right so what's your monthly recurring what's your churn rate right every month how many percent of customers have uh, are, are cancelling their subscription right and how many active uh, subscriptions do you have right now uh, what is your monthly new subscription that's coming in right and how many subscriptions are dropping out um, on a monthly basis right and what's the average avenue paid per user and what's the lifetime value of each customers okay and you can also uh, take a look at your audience of course this will need a uh, Google Analytics uh, you know connection but we don't uh, have that right now and uh, this is time machine right so time machine tells you uh, you know in a year uh, you know based on what is happening now right uh, if you continue then this is the uh, monthly revenue so it gives you like sort of a forecast of um, how your business is going to grow and uh, how many customers are you going to be getting right and let's say if you want to grow um, your business so this is like a calculator right so if you want to grow your business by let's say 10 times then you know uh, how, how many visitors do you need um, what's the target visitors sorry what's your current visitors let's say you got 5,000 visitors right now then your target is to grow two times then you need uh, 10,000 uh, let's say your conversion rate now is 2% and you want to hit 5% okay so you can put on put in all this data and uh, the 10x formula in the time machine will give you an idea of how your business is going to be when you are you know able to achieve this target of yours okay and these are uh, last tab right here is insights so insights is going to tell you okay um this is like your okay so this is for holiday season um, let's change to performance comparison so this is just for you to compare uh you know different p 
periods of time right and then uh, this will give you a better idea of let's say during the holiday season um, usually which is the uh, quarter four right how uh, your business uh, is actually growing so let's say um, the holiday season you you made uh, 670 uh, $673 um, but the non-holiday period your av average daily sales is actually $184 right so this is actually more than three times that you're getting uh, on the holiday period okay and then what's the number of visitors that you get during the holiday and non-holiday period uh, recurring customers sorry returning customers versus new customers and uh you know your conversion rate did it go up during the holiday season okay so this gives you a very good comparison uh right here so i think that uh partner is it, it the dashboard is actually really well done uh, it gives you uh, a lot of insights right it gives you a lot of insights um such as you know like holiday season um every single customer's purchase history uh this is something that is not offered uh in woocommerce right so you don't you don't get to see your customer's uh, purchase history unless you actually search it within your orders and you actually kept all the order uh database which is quite unlikely because you know uh that's gonna bloat up your um uh wordpress site right so um a lot of us we export those data and we keep it as a backup right so whereas with partner it keeps all this information in here for you to analyze better your um your you know your entire business right so holiday season versus non-holiday season um your new customers versus returning customers what's your conversion rate uh any difference uh you can compare and you can look at what product sells best uh how about the top 20 percent products that you sell versus the other 80 percent that don't do so well right so you uh should you focus on the more on the 20 percent or should you maybe your 80 percent just doesn't do well maybe you should focus more on the 20 percent of of the best products right so this gives you a very good insights and uh you can segment your customers as well which is you know the better ones to uh which are the the, the top vip customers that you that you have and maybe you want to continue to groom them uh for more sales right so um my last thoughts about uh partner i think it's a brilliant idea right um however what is actually missing with partner uh i would say that it needs more data points than just uh what they currently offer right now which is the uh, the payment gateway and the e-commerce solution which is only WooCommerce, Shopify, Etsy, Gumroad, eBay, BigCommerce, EDD, right? Um, I feel that they should even integrate like Amazon and other e-commerce marketplaces together into uh, Partner and uh, in fact they should also um, allow us to add manual input right so whenever we close a sale that is outside of our e-commerce system uh, we may want to record that data in uh, you know partner as well could could be that i have a b2c business which is an e-commerce store but at the same time i have a b2b uh, department that focuses on b2b sales and i want to uh, you know record those sales in partner so that i can compare should i focus on my uh e-commerce side of the business or the b2b side of the business as well right so that's something to consider um i think that they should also allow um us to uh they should also allow us to uh you know input the uh cost of goods i would say you know input the cost of goods then uh that would allow us to you know calculate our profit or profit margin as well um they should also allow us to connect to you know facebook ads google ads so that we get 
a very good idea of how our ads are performing compared you know uh you know at, in relation to um what everything is uh doing right uh because uh you know you have let's say you run facebook ads and right now the facebook ads reporting is actually not very accurate so if you can pull that those data in uh via maybe utm tax and uh look at the facebook ad spend and utm tagging uh you know the the links that are coming in the conversion and look at the revenue that's coming in and we can get a better um, idea of how our ads are performing and with the input of our uh, cost of goods we can calculate the roi on the ads itself and you know whether to scale the ads or not right so i think those are going to be very useful and uh, i think the the one thing that i see which is really exciting is the e uh, email marketing service um, integrations as well so let's say if they were to integrate with clavio or other uh, e-commerce uh, sorry uh, email marketing services we can then be able to, to track the links from the email marketing service into uh partner itself and see how our emails are actually doing right because of all the uh, ios uh, privacy updates um, a lot of all this sales tracking is uh, or sales attribution is actually not very accurate so i feel that you know partner can be a really good alternative uh, sorry a good solution for uh, businesses who want to have very accurate uh, sales data um, in fact people who run ads would definitely uh, want to know this data as well and i think that uh, partner seems to be uh, seem can be a good solution eventually um, uh, or you can also of course make use of the uh, you know uh, custom api that they have to connect all these data sources right so overall, I would say that Partler is a great idea um, and I definitely would hope to see more data sources connected and I feel that the core of Partler seems to be very good already. Um, it probably just needs another tab, right? Um, it just needs one more tab and tell us, you know, uh, this is where our ads connection would come in and tell us how our ads are performing, right? Give us a, a better idea of how our ads are performing. But otherwise, I think that the core of partner is actually very strong um, it just needs more data sources more integrations uh, and uh, manual inputs and uh, I think partner uh, will definitely you know become a powerhouse in terms of um, any businesses that want to track their data uh, on a uh, top-down basis right and that's all i have in this video let me know what you think about partner in the comments below if you know anyone who wants to track their sales uh, track them more accurately be sure to share this video with them and lastly um, if if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video